Okay, so in this example, we're dealing with a combination word problem, and we have to find the binomial coefficient. So when we're dealing with these combinations, we want to find the binomial coefficient. And the formula to find the binomial coefficient is right here. This formula can simply be read as n choose k, right? So n choose k. And simply what this is saying is it's telling you the number of ways you could choose k items out of n. So again, the number of ways you could choose k items out of n. And that formula is going to be right here. So let's go ahead and read our word problem and then we'll talk about how we're going to set it up. It says John has 16 players ready to play for the game. How many different teams of 11 can he put on the field? So in this particular example, we have to define what's our n and what's our k, right? So in this case, n is going to be the total number of players. That's going to be 16, okay? k is going to be 11. So k equals 11. So when we put this into our binomial coefficient formula, we're going to write it like this. 16 choose 11. And this simply just states the number of ways you could choose 11 items out of 16. And that's how we're going to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to do equal to. So again, n is going to be my 16. So I put 16 factorial. Okay. And then my k is going to be 11. So I put 11 factorial. Okay. And then I have n minus k here. So that's going to be 16 minus 11 and then this will be factorial. So just cleaning this up, we get 16, choose 11 equal to 16 factorial over 11 factorial times, and we know that 16 minus 11 is gonna give us five, so this is five factorial. So if you forgot how to write out a factorial, that just simply means we're multiplying consecutive integers starting from one and go into our designated value. So for example, if I look at five factorial, this can simply be written as one times two times three times four times five. Now luckily our calculator can do this out. We have that ability to put this into our calculator. So that's what we're going to do. So putting this into our calculator, we get the following. We get 16 factorial divided by 11 factorial times 5 factorial gives us the following. We get 16, choose 11, equal to 4,368. And this is gonna be our final answer, okay? So again, what that tells us is there are 4,368 different ways in which John can put 11 players on the field out of the 16 players that he has, okay? And that is it.